A podcast with artists created and produced by Detlef Schlick, a visual artist and ritual designer, living and loving in West Cork, and best known for his essay about the cause and effect of shamanism, art and digital culture. Working in the field of performance, photography, painting, sound, installations, and film he will dive and discover with us and a weekly creative guest into the unknown and exciting deep ocean of the creative mind. This is Detlef Schlich, and today we dive into the unknown and exciting deep ocean of Tara Shurkin's art and mind, which is very ambitious, and I hope uh, that we can achieve it. Shurkin Tara. Shurkin Tara. <laughs> Again, I don't know what it well, is. Shurk Shurkin is my favorite place in the world, and I've used that as my art name, Shurkin Tara. Okay, so I was, I, was, I was wondering, so I had to ask you, I forgot last time to ask yeah. you about that. So, yeah. so Shark and Tara is your your alter ego. Well, not really, no, it's just my artistic name. That's the, the name I go by. Shark and Tara. Yeah. Right, right. Tara. The ego is the same all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. I mean, mine's changed all the time. You know, so I, have, <laughs> I have now so many different. Trans Odin, Ronald Brutin. Uh, my next alter ego is Declan Detlef, Declan like I the land and seascape painter. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Tara, you know what? Look here. I have a, a little present for you. Oh, That's wow. a little lockdown frog. Ah, <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. Oh, did you make this out of ceramics? What is it made of? I don't know. You can open it. Can and, I open and, it? And, and you can smell it. Oh, and wow. Tell me, tell me how it smells. Lockdown, 2020. My God. That... Oh wow. What What do you think? What does that smell like? What is it? Mint. No. Uh, no. 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 I'm sorry. My sense of smell isn't <laughs> the best. I mean, I must say, I already, I already assembled everything together. It's a little. It's a little. Um, Installation, art installation in a jar, a frog in a jar. It's a, a jar. frog in a jar, lockdown. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for my <laughs> lockdown frog. Because you can never have enough no lockdown frogs, can you? <laughs> thank you, Dad. Thank you. You're welcome. Very yeah. nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll add it to the collection. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but you. I might sell it. <laughs> <laughs> so you might sell it, yeah. Yeah. I mean, we, we're sitting here at the Lichien house and um, pop in to see some lockdown frogs if you want. The exhibition is still up now, up to the... I think it's on for another two weeks, yes. To, to the 14th of August. 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 August, yes. So it is open actually every day, except no, it's open every day uh, except Sunday. I don't think it's open Sunday. We must ask again. But um, yeah, every day from like ten to five. And um, this is half the collection actually. Um, I had a bigger exhibition in the Yellow Door in Baltimore, um, and in I've, in fairness, I sold a good few of them, which was kind of nice. Um, and it was lovely to have an exhibition because I wasn't expecting one. Um, you know, with everything that's going on. Um, so it was lovely to actually show my work. And this is the second place where I'm showing it, the remainder of um, the lockdown frogs. Yeah. So then I'm moving on to donkeys. It could be an ass of an exhibition. Are you already working on, 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 on the donkey scene? Yes, I've started. I'm just hoping that zebras are related to donkeys because I've got a bit carried away uh, there with the was, zebras. There was something that zebras were somehow related to donkeys or, or not. I don't know. More to donkeys than, 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 to, than to horses, I think. Yeah, I think so too. I think, I don't know. I just, you know, you see a lot of donkeys in the countryside in Ireland and they make fabulous noises <laughs> and wake you up <laughs> at five o'clock <laughs> in the morning. Oh, yes. yes. And I think everyone loves donkeys. I don't know. I don't know. No, 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 me they're not. fabulous. Uh, the imagery, their teeth, yeah. their ears, I was, everything. I was, I was falling down from a donkey and it was in the age of 
five or six, you oh. know, so, so I'm traumatized. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> See, again, it's like everybody's got their own yeah. issues with I'm, animals. I'm completely allergic against horses and donkeys as well, you know. So. I was chased by a big pig one time, a sow, yeah. That was rather a frightening. A sow? Yeah, a sow, do, a female do, pig. Do you, do you call it here a sow as well in, yeah. in Ireland or in Engl England as well? Well, it would be the same, we, uh, the English word. I mean, we say sow as well. Oh, know? really? Yeah. Oh, okay. And it's as well, swear, 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 swear. do sow. Oh. Come here, do sow. Well, I was doing the opposite. I was running away. <laughs> <laughs> do you understand, John? No, I don't know. No, I have enough trouble with English. <laughs> <laughs> so you're actually, you're, you're originally Irish. Yes, I am. Yeah. Where, where, are we, where are you from? Well, actually, okay, that's a bit of a lie. I was born in Newcastle in England, <laughs> but I was reared in Ireland. Yeah, so. So how, how long did you live in England? Only three months. Three months? Yeah. I lived in London years later, actually, for a, a while, but um, now I live in West Cork and I plan to stay here. I do the odd bit of traveling, but I love West Cork. I'm, I'm not going to move anywhere else. So, so when did you come over here to West Cork? Um, I moved back from New York about 12 years ago. I All was right. living in New York for 10 years and I was in Australia for a while and um, London, as I said. So I've done a good bit of traveling, but uh, West Cork is where I want to be. It's where the heart is. It is great. I mean, I mean, I must say, and, and that's actually the reason why I, I did this podcast, because we have so many um, brilliant people over here, creative people. It is a very and, artistic and, environment, to and, you know. Ah, oh God. So uh, I think... I never will, will, will uh, I'll never stop probably with this show because uh, I could hand now already five, ten people who, who want to be my next talk guests over here. There's a lot of artists in West Park. Yes. Yeah, which is great, you know. So I'm, and I must say, I'm really looking forward for for speaking with them and and uh, getting stories, hearing stories, and this and that. You know, it's lovely. It's beautiful. I mean, it's a gift. You know, I'm so happy that that actually, and I have to mention that here. That Suzanne, she is a, a friend of mine. She inspired me doing a podcast, not this direction, but she was the the in, uh, initial sparkle. Okay. So thanks, Suzanne. And yeah, so here we are, you know, so my first guests. Yeah, and, uh, thanks, Suzanne. <laughs> it is so cool. I must say, I really love it. I, I researched tons of which uh, technology I use and which preamp and all that. And uh, I mean, you can see that, find that everything in, in my uh podcast the links to the preamps and uh, I will I will set it up and people can get information about that as well so okay. that's quite cool yeah yeah so tell me so you say you used to be in New York so 10 years mm. when was that God, I'm not the very best with dates now to be honest with you but um I yeah 10 years I'm back about two years no maybe three years now I was I was living and working over there for a long time and I loved New York but I didn't particularly want to um get old and grey living over there either. I, I think big cities are... I mean, can you? you know, I, I, can I had enough. I wanted to get back. I, I wanted say, to get some dogs and I wanted to be an artist. So I wanted to come home. I can imagine that. So so, so you haven't been an artist in New York? I was. Tempor I was doing bits. I did a lot of um, printing. I like screen printing. I did some skill, uh, silk screening courses and I dabbled. Not as much. Now I'm doing it full time. At the time, I wasn't. I was working a lot. What What did you work? What, what? Uh, restaurants, managing restaurants and bars. And managing? The usual. Yeah. Wow. wow. Great, yeah. great. Yeah. Where? In New York? I was living in Brooklyn. In Dumbo, actually. Down underneath the Brooklyn Manhattan overpass. Oh, you probably made a lot of friends over there, don't you? Oh, I did, yes. Yeah, no, I did. And uh, one of them, a good friend of mine, Keith, he comes to visit me a lot. Well, he used to, now that he... At the moment, no yeah, one's visiting anywhere. Yeah, yeah. But um, no, I loved, I loved, I love New York, and I love Sydney, and I love London. I loved big cities, but I think you know, I'm over that now. I mean, now I don't. I, I was wondering, like can it, you but... still bear it? Because for me, I mean, uh, if if I picture myself in Cologne, it's okay for a week, but 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 more, uh, I'm getting nervous. Oh, I honestly. don't even go to Cork mm -hmm. these days. I mean, Skipperine is <laughs> enough for me. <laughs> yeah, so, so you're you're going like 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 this. Yeah, Irish it's... people who, who who live at the end of the world in in Goline. Yeah, I just turned into they, a. They just come to Skull, and if you ask them, have you ever been in Skipperine? They say no. You know. So no, I know. I think I've turned into a country bumpkin. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm turning into a hermit completely. You yeah, know? that's that's another reason why I'm gonna. Well, I think we all are at the moment as well. You know, we we are, we are. Yeah, how are you gonna cope with that? 
Um, I'm okay actually. I'm doing a load of art. I've I've never been I, I've been really yeah. productive to be honest with you. It's it's helping me to take away from uh, you know all the sadness and all the madness that's going on in the world. Um, so I spend a lot of time on my own at home. I walk the dogs a lot and I do a lot of art and um, I'm okay with it. I mean that's a horrible thing to say, but and I definitely want things to go back to normal again. Um, I.e. traveling uh. and. Not wearing those horrible masks around the place that's kind of freaking me so out. i don't know i mean traveling is, I'm, I'm currently i'm not sure if i'm gonna go to germany this year i'm really not sure about that yeah it's it's so it's, it's tricky isn't it? well i mean yeah. even just going shopping in skibbery now it's you know the, a lot of the nice coffee shops have closed down you can't meet your friends anymore um lachine house they had to close down the other shop and um you know a lot of the charity shops are closed you can't walk around there there's not shopping isn't what it used to be do you know so now you just want to just go in get your stuff and go home straight away do you i mean i must say i'm i'm actually i mean i live as well quite remote i live eight kilometers from Skibarine. like what you hear so far make sure you never miss a show by clicking the subscribe button now this podcast is made possible by listeners like you. Thank you for your support. Now back to the show. I must say, I'm I'm actually, I mean, I live as well quite remote. I live eight kilometers from Skibarine. And I actually have to cycle because hitching. Yeah, well, you can't do you, that anymore now you, either. You you yeah. can't forget it now, mm. you know. So, I mean, probably not completely forget it, but, but the chance that, that somebody will, will give you a lift is maybe 10 percentage from 100 now i'm fairly lucky in baltimore if you know when people know you they'd stop yeah 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 yes you see if, if i would live in by the hub it wouldn't mm. be a problem yes but i mean in the middle of nowhere it takes me two kilometer to get into the main road yeah and then yeah hitching you know, so, well, it's fair enough i mean yeah. so i'm but we're blessed i mean we're living in the countryside yeah. and we've got all this freedom yeah. that other people in the cities yeah. don't have so yeah. you know we can't complain no absolutely not i mean i think i think really if, if you're if you're creative and if you know how to spend your we, time yeah we spend i mean i think artists and writers and musicians or whatever um spend a lot of time on their own anyway you know yeah, that's how yeah. we are, we are right. creative so um for us maybe it is a little bit more easier you know i mean we don't have to wear masks all day because we're at home in our own house yeah i mean these poor people who do have to you know that's so look that's just the way it is and we have to live with it yeah at the I, moment anyway I, I i i think i think we're gonna do good we're gonna do good and eventually as well you know uh so 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 this if i if I have this line, what is this line? The the new normal. You 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 hear it everywhere. Is it, is I hate it, all so, those yeah. new words. Yes. So, so so it is it is uh, it is actually. Um, so we are gonna get sketchbook conditioned with words like this. Well, chillax is another word that's what is after it? chillax. Chillax. It's now in the English Oxford what Dictionary. Is it? it means chill out. It's ridiculous altogether. <laughs> Um, but there's a few more of them. I was Googling them the other day for yeah. want of something to do. Yeah, a staycation. That's kind of another annoying word, isn't what? it? That means you stay at home on holidays this year. There's a lot of them, Debt. You uh, need to look them up. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I, I, actually, I guess I listen to too much talk to, talk radio. I stop <laughs> Podcasts, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, actually, I, I, I must say I stopped researching and in, 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 in all that that's um, coronavirus things because uh, I did it for two months and I was listening to a German uh, virus uh, uh, specialist you know from, no you from, can listen to too much from, news from from, from Berlin and he was actually very good because he explained a lot but uh, I was I was really feeling that that, that I was getting really uh, paranoid somehow yeah, you know I think a lot of us did yeah too much news is not a good thing either no so no news are good news actually so let's move back to talking about art <laughs> yeah 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 so it's great so it's like i say we we, we are surrounded by by a lot of colors and 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 tara told me in in, in the first episode the first part um that she loves to to paint uh, a lot with with colorful vivid colors and um that she just discovered her black well, color kind of ignites my soul and 
um, you know, I get very excited. And it's funny because I this exhibition, I try to stick to green and blues. Um, but it's funny, I can only do them for so long and then I have to go for pink or bright blue or yeah. yellow or something. So, um, so pink is your favorite color. No, so. blue is my favorite color. Actually. Blue. Blue. I love blue. Yeah. But she wears a pink jumper. Uh, well, uh, it's uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I like all colors, really, except black. I'm not a black person or white. I wouldn't be um, black and white. Not really for me. I don't know. I mean, do I, do I like black? I think I had to wear black a lot in New York when you work in bars. And after that, I never wanted to wear black again. I remember my boss screaming at me one day, which part of black do you not understand? I said, the whole <laughs> lot of it. <laughs> the whole lot. Yeah. So, colors. Mm. Yeah. I mean, it is very common that, that, that artists, I think especially designer and architects, they, they, they Well, work. my background is in fashion design. That's originally what I wanted to be. Um, is it? I studied fashion design at Central St. Martin's in London. Did you? Yeah. How long? Uh, it was a BA, so three, four years, I think, menswear. But um, I realized that um, I liked designing the clothes, but I was a disaster on the sewing machine <laughs> and pattern uh, cutting. And but I mean, but it is, it's uh, very technical. I don't have a technical uh, brain. No, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. the same. If, if it comes to, yeah, yeah. I can yeah, understand that. I was always more of an artist than a fashion designer. To be so honest. you did that four years in London. Yeah. And, and I mean, but it, it helps as well if it comes to mixed media, isn't it? I mean, uh, I think I express myself by dressing up really and having, Why not? A, yeah. having a great time on the party scene at the time. <laughs> which, which is great. I mean, I used to have a punk rock band and uh, I did my own clothes as well. So I painted my trouser. I, I actually, uh, I, I designed a jacket and a friend of mine, she was a tailor. She, she, she made it and was special fancy in the buttons and everything. I loved it, you know, so, so yeah. I would love to, to, to find a way to express everything in, in a, in a total thing, you know, yeah. like, like you, do you know this band soul to soul? Yes. Back to life. Back to reality. Ah, However do you want me. <laughs> yes, I do. I know them. And 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 they they use where 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 are they from from London or from? I don't know actually. Are they from Bristol London? or something like this? Uh, and they they were a huge um, a corporation. It was a mix of of fashion designers of mm. of artists, musicians, and then and you know. And yeah. I really, I I love this 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 ideology behind it you mm -hmm. know this this vision this 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 message this is 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 express your art you especially if you don't have a car you you do you drive no never drove in my life do you have a driving uh, license no me neither never had it i yeah. never had any I, well, i suppose it was easy when i lived in big cities because you didn't need to yeah i mean now here sometimes it would be kind of but i'm a walker i like walking yeah um you know so i wouldn't trust myself behind the wheel of a car really to me be honest neither. No, no, I, have my I, I get too distracted you see I, I mean, in my case, is 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 more the aggressions of of all this 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 macho car driving and, uh, so, uh, uh, yeah. and all this. I mean, I mean, people people are they 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 underestimate this huge machines, you know. So and, uh, I Back have the huge, donkeys and carts. I think I have, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have really respect for that, you know. So. I probably are, are gonna are, are gonna make maybe my 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 drone driving license and and I will fly with my little own drone. Oh, you know, no, they're horrible things as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, but. Sometimes I think I should have been born in the seventeen hundreds or something. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Tara. So we're almost finished in the, in the second part, and I'm gonna go back to our quiz. And uh, um, I just have to explain, so listen good what I say now. Some examples of amphibians are frogs, toads, newts, 
and salamanders. Some examples of reptiles are turtles, snakes, lizards, alligators and crocodiles. My question is, and, and um, if somebody figured out, uh, I'm gonna do a draw and I asked Tara and she, uh, what, what do you want to put in? Uh, well, if somebody wants to win a little prize, I'll, I'll give them uh, one of my uh, pictures, which would be fine, which, no problem. Which, which is lovely, which is great. So, so guys, if you send um, an email to attitude at attitude, um, with your address and the right answer, you can win something. You, you will win from. Well, they have to decide then. Do they want a frog or do they want an iguana or a lizard? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, so you can so, let me know. Yeah, yeah. So put your wish in it, and uh, and you get from Tara. You can get back to me. Yeah. And I'm gonna do a hand drawing uh, uh, thing as well if you know what you want. And if they're very good, I'll sign it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the so the question is. A zoo's herpetarium contains the following animals. Seven snakes, four frogs, two geckos, three turtles, six lizards, one salamander, two toads and three alligators. How many amphibians and how many reptiles are at the zoo? I keep expecting you to say and a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> All right, so Tara, thank you very much. It You're was a lovely short and uh, interesting 20 minutes. So uh, looking forward for the last part. Good. Pleasure talking to you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye all together. And I hope I get you back in the third part. So tune in. Ciao. This is a listener supported show. I feel honored if you subscribe to the show. You can follow me non-financial with the following click on one of my Instagram accounts or subscribe to the visual version of this podcast on YouTube via the link below. If you like what you hear, be sure to tune in this Sunday for the third part of Attitude Audio Triptych. If you want to leave a donation for a coffee or a bus ticket, just follow the donation link via the Attitude Podcast account. Eventually, I would like to thank, through this medium, all my members and listeners of the I Love West Cork Artists Network from all over the world. Just to remember myself that without you, this year couldn't and wouldn't happen. You have listened to Artitude, West Cork's first art, fashion and design podcast. Artitude, never so close again. Ah! That was too close.